hello and welcome back to another super duper review today we've got the ambient weather ws 2902b weather station and let me tell you this thing packs a punch so it's super easy to set up and get going but the main selling point here is the display console and the amount of data you can see and look at it once you log into your back end dashboard which ambient provides for you but first let's go ahead and talk about the setup and installation real quick such a breeze and so easy to install straight out of the box you're just going to screw in this rain wind direction and wind speed module and you'll have it all set up here and then it also comes with some u-bolts here which easily screw in and attach to pretty much just about anything so as you can see we have ours attached to our back porch here because ambient does recommend you're going to want to clean out this rain gauge here about every three months there might be some stuff in there so you just don't want to put it in too tricky of a spot but yeah you can attach it to a metal pole a pvc pole really anything will work and then we just have it bungee corded to the deck there and there's also an arrow that points north here so you're going to want to make sure you're weather station is pointed northwards and then there's also a leveler button here so you're a leveler little bubble so you're not going to need your own leveler but of course you are going to want the station level so for the most accurate reading so that is provided for you so of course super easy to set up really only took 10 to 20 minutes to really get it up here and going but more importantly, let's go head on inside and take a look at the display console and the features this bad boy has. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the display console here. So, with this weather station, you'll get your normal display console. But the really cool thing is that you'll be able to log into the ambient weather dashboard here and get an even better data view of your console. That's really better than this little thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first. So you can see you have each of your weather sensors, you have your outdoor temperature, you have your wind here, and then you even have your barometric pressure, and then things such as UV index. So all this is plotted out right here, and then you can either get, you can also get a weather forecast for your area. You can even see stuff like the moon, right now it's 98% waxing. So just a lot of cool stuff that if you want to log in and play around with the data and see what's up. Uh, this is a really cool weather station for that. So another cool feature here is that if you just click this little graph icon, it'll go ahead and take your most recent history and plot it out. So you can choose if you want to see that for the last month, for the last day. Right now I just have it for the last few hours and it'll show you exactly what's been happening over the course of that time period. So really cool stuff. And then you just go ahead and click this button to go back to your main dash view. So yeah, if you're a little bit of a geek, you want to check out all of this data and play around with it, super cool. Oh, one more last thing that's awesome here is when you click the map icon, you can choose to re register your weather station here, and it plots it on a graph around everybody else who also has the ambient weather station and is in the network. So in your local area, you can actually zoom in here and you can see the different temperatures and the different data from all of the ambient weather stations around your area. So just really cool way to get a good idea of exactly what the weather is doing in your area. A couple more cool things about this weather station. You can set it to alert you if one of your sensors goes below or above a certain threshold. For example, your temperature or rainfall amount, your console inside will go ahead and beep or you can have that integrate with your Google Assistant or Alexa at home if you want to get fancy. You can also integrate with IFTTT, Weather Underground, and Weather Cloud if you want to share your weather data with other people online there. So lots of cool integrations and features that you can set up with the ambient weather station here. All right, it has been about a month since installing this weather station and I thought I'd give you guys an update and summary after a month. So first of all, as you can see, I have reinstalled it here in the front yard so it has more wind space all around and can have more accurate readings. But uh, overall, after using this thing for a month, it's insane the amount of value that this thing provides 
for under $200. And at the price point, it just gives you so much in a weather station, pretty much everything you could really need. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what else you would need in a weather station unless you wanted more precise readings. Um, but this is extremely reasonable price point. Not sure if you can see that, but we actually have a lacrosse weather station installed up there. Installed that about a year ago, and that weather station was only about $120. It was like $40 less than this ambient weather station. But uh, this ambient weather station just does so much more. Way easier to install, way easier to set up and just use on a daily basis. So if you guys are just looking for a solid all-around weather station, I would not hesitate to go with this ambient weather station right here. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them on down in the description. Super Duper Reviews, signing off. All right, so let's take a look at this display console. So here you can set temp, and that's gonna decide between chill, the dew temperature, and the heat temperature. You can hit rain. That's gonna show you the rainfall for the last day, week, month, total, or you can just set it for the rate per hour. Wind is gonna show you the gust or the direction of the wind, although it shows you an arrow, so you don't have to worry about that. Barometric pressure shows you the averages for your time span, 12, 24, 48 hours. And then this alarm button is how you're gonna set your min and max thresholds. And you're gonna hear that little beep, beep, beep whenever your alarm goes off, if you wanna set an alarm for any of these data points.